What's going on everyone? Pop Culture Junkie here. Well today I've got my Geek Fuel box for the month of February just arrived and I can't wait to open it up and see what's inside. We've been getting Geek Fuel for a very long time of course. If you've been a viewer of the channel you know we've been unboxing these for over a couple years. And Geek Fuel to me is, is one of the unsung heroes of the subscription box services because they always have unique items, different items. They always go to the extreme to find unique things you don't see in other boxes and you definitely get your money's worth because you're getting a guaranteed shirt you get a awesome enamel pin of some sort. They started a new type of pin recently. That's what we're going to check out today, the brand new type of pins. And then you also always get a downloadable game code that you can use on your PC. It's through Steam, and the games range in value from anywhere between $5 to up to like $20 at times. So that's already, you know, covers most of the value of the box, plus the t-shirt, plus the pin. So you're guaranteed to get three awesome items, plus usually two or three more, depends on the box. But... Uh, that, that's where you get your, your value, definitely. As always, Geek Field does not do a theme, but they do drop hints on what items might be in the box. So the themed hints we were given for this month were Castlevania, Big Trouble in Little China, and The Black Panther, which just hit theaters this past week. I uh, haven't had a chance to see it yet. I've heard uh, good things, heard some okay things. So I'm looking forward to seeing it myself. We'll see if it's uh, pretty good or not, if it, if it holds up to the other level of the other Marvel movies and so forth. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. If you would like to subscribe to Geek Fuel, there is a affiliate link in the description of the video. Just click on that. It helps me, but it also helps you go straight to the website you're going to go to anyways. So go ahead and use that, please. Uh, but let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what we have inside for the month of February. All right. On top here, we have our Geek Fuel magazine. And I got uh, Black Panther on the front there, issue number 37. And on the back here, of course, they show off all the random YouTubers there. You know, it's been a long time since we were in this magazine and just have not made the cut. Oh, well, maybe next time. But uh, hashtag Geek Fuel if you are a uh, subscriber and post your picture of the unboxing, which, of course, I'll be doing. Our first item on top is, oh, this is our pin. All right, so last year we had Epic Enamel pins. This year we have, uh, starting at least, Pin Pals. And they chose Big Trouble in Little China as the first uh, theme. And check it out. We've got our... Uh -huh, just like the cover of, actually these look just like the packaging of the reaction figures, of uh, uh, Funko reaction figures. Uh, a little similar uh, with the white border, got the logo, got Jack Burton, got the uh, rain, thunder, and lightning. And I'm not sure we got, uh, I think we have thunder. Is that the one we have here? Let's see. Yeah, we got thunder. Okay. So these are all the different pens you can get. Okay, low pan. Thunder, Lightning, Rain, Jack Burton. So the difference on these is they look like little pint-sized versions of the characters. Whereas last year, the Epic Enamels, they took Fuel, which is the uh, mascot of uh, Geek Fuel, the little robot, and they made him look like all the different types of characters from different themes. Like we had Power Rangers, we had Mass of the Universe, Star Wars, etc. But this time around, and maybe they're gonna do this the whole year, which is great if they pick out different movies or TV shows to use, that'd be awesome. So yeah, there's our pen pals, Big Trouble Little China. Pretty sweet. Uh, I like it a lot. I, I do obviously wish I had gotten either Lopan or Jack Burton. Uh, I think that's one of the greatest characters in cinema is Jack Burton. I love his quotes all the time, so excellent. So there's our Big Trouble Little China item there. But our next item in the box, let's see. Yep, like I mentioned, you get a downloadable game code in every box. Uh, this one is a $10 value, it says. And the game is called Rats Instagib, okay? Uh, so there's a uh, code on the back of this little card and we'll download it and try it out. We'll see what the game is like. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, we got our, okay, we have a print, okay? Or a little mini poster. Might be an original art print, we'll see. Uh, okay, yeah, it's just a little poster. Uh, okay, I guess this is our Black Panther item because it just says Black Panther on the front there, you can see, okay? Got the image there. Uh, looks a little more comic bookish rather than the actual film, but still, okay. Little poster. Ah, here we go, we got a box. I think this is gonna be our shirt. They like to put the shirts in different uh, decorated boxes. Uh, on the front here it says Belmont, so obviously this is our Castlevania, uh, Simon Belmont, of course, the uh, hero in uh, Castlevania, okay? Um, yep, it is our shirt. Oh man, this is a great shirt. Okay, so what better way to do a Castlevania t-shirt than just having the actual cover art from the original 8-bit game on your shirt. That's so cool. 
I love it. Okay, we still have, uh, we got one more item in here. So let's see what this is. We have uh, Ninja Stars Fridge Magnets. It almost looks like Ninja Gaiden to me, the, the logo there. Uh, Ninja Star Fridge Magnets. Exclusive Geek Fuel item. This product is not a toy. Uh, these are, yeah, these are a little magnet of uh, Ninja Stars. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay, pretty sweet. So they're not metal. Um, they're not like actual, you know, blades or anything like that. You have to worry about, you know, anybody getting hurt or, you know, hurting themselves with these. You don't want to throw them, uh, obviously. They're still a sharp, uh, pointy edge, but they're not like real Ninja Stars that you have to worry about sticking on your fridge. Uh, but they do have little magnets there, and then you can just, it looks basically like you threw a Ninja Star at your fridge, and you got them stuck in there now. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I'll be putting those up. Okay, do we have anything else? Nope, we just got our cheat sheet card. We'll take that out. And then the box is empty, as you can see there. Oh, here is our cheat sheet here, and we've got everything that should be in the box. So let's do the rundown. We got the Castlevania t-shirt. Looks like they had a blue shirt, I'm guessing, for a girl, and then the silver grayish one for the boys. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this one uh, because it looks more like the original cover box, so that's even better. All right. On the back here, we've got the Big Trouble in Little China Pin Pals. Then we got the Ninja Fridge Magnets, which again, that totally looks like Ninja Gaiden to me. Uh, we got the Black Panther exclusive print, but apparently there was also uh, a rare purple one that you could have gotten, which we didn't get. We got the regular one. And they had a movie ticket giveaway. Feeling lucky, we've also randomly inserted movie tickets to you into your box, but no, we didn't get a movie ticket. And then you had the downloadable game code. So you got a total of one, two, three, four, five items in the box. Uh, all right, pretty cool. Okay, so let's check out the items again. So we have our Castlevania t-shirt. That right there, I think, is is really good. It's one of the best shirts they've had. I mean, it's so simple, too. It's just a classic cover box artwork from a classic video game put onto a shirt. But it's something I definitely am going to want to wear, and people are going to notice it when they see it. They're going to be like, oh, original Castlevania, awesome. Yes, old school. Uh, we got the Ninja Fridge Magnets. That's really sweet. Okay, I like when we get magnets and buttons and pins and whatnot. I love when we get those in the boxes. Yeah, I like the magnets, great item. The print, I wasn't really wild about, uh, especially since it's a Black Panther item. I was I was really expecting the Black Panther item to be the shirt or maybe a print, but a big full-size one, uh, maybe something that was signed, even though that's not something that Geek Feel really does is you know autographed items, uh, but something bigger I was expecting for the Black Panther, especially since the movie just came out just a matter of days ago. So yeah, I, I'm not really wild about the poster. The pen, I love. I love these Epic Enamel pens, and I love the pen pals now. So this is awesome with me, and I'm looking forward to what themes they do if they're going to continue this throughout the year. And then, of course, you get a downloadable game code, which I've played a lot of the games that they've sent us on these uh, boxes. And for the most part, they're a lot like your app games. Some of them are a little more old school, like 8-bit style um, kind of games that you play like on a Super Nintendo or Nintendo back in the day. Uh, so yeah, those... You know, those are always fun. And then, of course, you got the Geek Show Magazine, which is just something that they include in every box. All right, well, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the actual items, what you thought of the unboxing. Share with me as well. I'm always looking for honest feedback, so please help me with that. Share with me your thoughts and opinions. Well, if you did enjoy this, please, as always, give me a thumbs up. If you have not done so yet, please click on that little subscribe button so you can check out all the other content we have going on the channel here. There's something for everybody. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a good week. Until next time, this is the one and only Pop Culture Junkie. I'm signing out.